Hi everyone. Today we are going to make sardines lemon mint grilled fish. So as you see I have got here four pieces of sardines uh, cut and cleaned from the market. I had kept it in the freezer so I have de used uh, the microwave to defrost it for three minutes um, and post uh, that I have gave them a thorough wash and then uh, I also observed that there were some scales still left in the fish. This is some, something that I would give, it, give you guys a tip uh, always to look for scales. Um, easy way to remove it is uh, to give a gentle scrub with the back of your knife uh, that usually removes all the scales. Uh, so you give it a thorough wash again after removing the scales and now um, I have made uh, some four to five cuts as per the size of the fish and uh, with the help of a meat knife uh, but uh, if you guys don't have a meat knife you can use a normal knife you just need to press a little bit harder because this is where we are going to put our field fillings before uh, getting into the grilling section. On the spices front, I have taken one tablespoon of salt, uh, another half tablespoon of black pepper, uh, around one third tablespoon of cinnamon powder. Um, and then since this is all needs to be a paste for the grilled chicken, so I have just powdered uh, the cardamom seeds here in the help of a, a pass motor and pestle, then two cloves, uh, in the same fashion a little bit a pinch of uh, jeera powder so that's a cumin seeds a little bit of oregano and chili flakes so you guys can add more of any of these spices uh, that you feel like adding more as for your taste here uh, we are settling down a little bit on the chili flakes uh, and also what is important is turmeric so turmeric really gives uh, the grilled fish that yellowish orangish tinge so we also have taken one tablespoon of turmeric powder here so i have taken here uh, a paste of mint leaves uh, it's it was a bunch of mint leaves that i have used thoroughly cleaned um, and i have put to the grinder along with that i have put 10 green chilies yes 10 green chilies because we want it to be spicy but if you guys want it to be a little less spicy and just want the flavor of the green chilies to be out there i suggest to just take one or two uh, and into the grinder you need to add around three to four tablespoon of uh, uh, water so that it forms a consistency like this um, and this really helps to soak the meat uh, in uh, also i have taken here uh, ginger garlic paste around one and a half tablespoon for four pieces of sardines medium size and here i have taken around one and a half to two tablespoon of olive oil we set it for the grilled chicken so let's just get started uh, with mixing all our spices so i'll start with the salt salt needs to be evenly distributed among the fishes turned around the fish and also have marinated it very well with all the spices that we had and the mint paste uh, if you see and notice here i have left a little bit of liquid out here so that the meat really soaks in 
um, the flavor of the mint and now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add these uh, cumin powder in the fridge for around 30 minutes and then we are going to start with the grilling process so we are back after 30 minutes and uh, what we are uh, making this tray ready uh, with an aluminium foil so grilling fish in foil is best it keeps the fish intact locks in moisture and helps the heat distribute evenly it also allows you to add in herbs and aromatics to perfectly season your grilled fish so just let's get started i will quickly brush a little bit of olive oil here and also we had preheated the oven uh, at 200 degrees centigrade for the same amount of time the fish was inside the fridge that is around 25 to 30 minutes and i'll place the fishes out here in the aluminium foil quick cool so we are good here and what we are going to do now is we have this preheated oven. So we put it inside the oven now. Neat, clean and smooth. Yeah. Okay. So we are going to close it now. So we are going to set here the temperature. Uh, and... I'm going to choose here 200 degree centigrade. That's it. Uh, timing for 15 minutes because we want to lock for 15 minutes and then want to get started and flip the fish over after 15 minutes. So there you go. It's 15 minutes now and uh, we're going to take out the tray to see how much it has cooked. Then flip it out. So we see uh, that it has fried pretty well. Now before flipping it, I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of oil. Really want the grilled fish to come well. so. Can just drop it. I'm not brushing it because I don't want my entire small oil pan to uh, get the fish spice and herbs. So we'll just take one spoon here and flip it off. As you see, the masala on the other side has really, really uh, gone off. So we'll quickly apply a little bit of leftover masala okay here we go and we're gonna flip a little bit of oil here too just few drops go the big fish we need to put a little bit more there you go So we're going to put a little bit of the masala, like I said, just a little bit so that we have the taste of mint and the spices and the herbs that we have added. And now we will be putting it for 30 minutes so let's go and now we place it again here 
and we will set it for 30 minutes now in the same temperature. There you go. Degrees centigrade now, and we go for the timer. And there you go for 30 minutes. Set. Oh, set start great so here you see now uh, we have uh, pulled out the grill fish and I put a mint leaf here for garnishing and all that you need to do now is to squeeze a little bit of lemon over it and there you go your fish is ready